this video, you will learn how to make the pattern for a jhabla. A jhabla is a loose fitting top made for babies and young children. Here we shall make a variation of the garment that can be adjusted by a drawstring encased around the neckline. To make the pattern, you will need a pattern sheet, markers in three different colors, a ruler and a pair of scissors. Take a pattern sheet and lay it flat on the table. Remember that patterns are usually cut on fold for symmetry. You therefore need to fold the pattern sheet once along its length so it forms a rectangle with two longer sides. Also note that the garment made here is meant for a four-year-old. To adapt this to your own size, you will need to take the following measurements. For example, this jhabla will measure a width of 14 inches along the chest. After including half an inch for the seam allowance and an extra inch for precaution, set the width of the fold at 8 inches. If your measurements are different, ensure that the width of the two layers are at least an inch more than the width of the garment. Start by marking the main guidelines for the layout of the pattern. Plot out the following points as illustrated. Mark point B, 15 inches from A, which is at the corner of the pattern sheet. The line AB represents the length of the jhabla from shoulder to hem. Mark point C, an inch further away past B. C marks the position of the hem allowance line. Now, mark three points D, E and F perpendicular to the fold 7 inches from the points A, B and C respectively. ED is your side seam line. Draw a line running from the point D to F. Now, draw a line connecting B to E and an other from C to F. We shall now mark the points that define the neckline. To do this, mark a point G, 3.5 inches from A towards D. AG represents the width of the neck. Now, mark a point I, 3 inches from A along the fold. The line AI represents the drop of the neck. Now, draw an arc joining the points G, and I to define the neckline. We shall now proceed to make the depth of the armhole. Start by setting the depth of the armhole by marking a point H, 4.5 inches from D towards E. The armhole depth is generally calculated as one fourth the chest with the addition of half an inch. Next, the arcs that define the rounded ends of the hem and the curve of the side seam line shall be made. Start by marking point J, half an inch from F towards D and point K, half an inch from E towards D. Draw an arc from H to a point L, which is approximately 1.5 inches above K, as shown. This provides the contour along the sides of the jhabla. Now, curve the ends to the hem by drawing a small arc from K to B and an other from J to C, as shown. Next, shade the area demarcating the hem allowance using a second color. You may now set the seam allowance along the side seam line using a third color. Mm -hmm. 
Start by marking a series of points half an inch from the side seam line as shown. Once this is done, connect the points with the dotted line and shape the intermediate area to demarcate the seam allowance. You can now cut the pattern sheet along the outline you have drawn. Don't forget to cut along the curve of the neckline as well. Remove the remaining pattern sheet. If you like, open the pattern to verify the dimensions and shape of the pattern. You have now learned how to make a pattern for a jhabla. Watch the remaining videos and finish your garment.